Andre. I'm a liberal studies major, senior up here and everything. Um, my culture I chose was basketball, particularly NCAA, Division One, Division Two, Division Three basketball. Um, so background information about the game. Um, in December of 1891, Dr. Joseph Naismith created the game of basketball um, in Canada, opening up a new opportunity for you know kids all around and everything. And honestly, I think at his time, he didn't understand how big the game would have been all around, world around and everything. Uh, you know, basketball is a good stress reliever. You know, it opens up the doors for people to um, get their degrees and everything and even pursue it professionally and whatnot. Um, due to time constraints, I'm gonna focus on Division I. Uh, so there's approximately 347 Division I schools. Uh, majority of the teams are able to offer 13 scholarships per team, unless they have like different sanctions that you know, they failed and everything. So that's roughly about 4,500 players that are playing intercollegiate basketball. Um, and since 2007, 84% of these basketball players, students, athletes, have graduated. So the NCAA is not only looking to focus on, you know, putting out the sport and, you know, entertainment and whatnot, they're actually trying to move on their students and everything to, you know, get their degrees and whatnot. Uh, yeah, in 2010, 2014, roughly $293 million was created or funded with uh, basketball and collegiate sports and whatnot. Uh, and Within the next four or five years, that's projected a double and everything. As you guys can see right here, <laughs> I have a basketball right here. Uh, this is actually the, <laughs> this is the, the standard, standard basketball and everything. I'll pass this around and whatnot. So um, varying on what school you go to and everything, certain schools have different sponsorships and whatnot. Some are sponsored by Nike, some are sponsored by Under Armour, Adidas, and whatnot. Uh, the balls vary in size, so you know that's really the standard basketball for collegiate sports and whatnot. Um, I identify with this culture because it's a version of my life. I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this. You know, it's helped me, you know, meet new people all around the world and everything. I travel all around the country, and you know, I put in a lot of time with it and whatnot. I feel like a lot of people, you know, they get to see the glitz and glamour of it and everything, and they really don't understand that you don't like, this takes a whole lot of time, you know. No sleep, you know, it's hard to balance out classes and whatnot, and it gets real frustrating. But with all the hard work and effort and whatnot, you know, you get to reap the rewards and everything, you know, you're, you're around a close amount of, a close knit of people and everything, you know, and you, you sacrifice and you struggle with these people. And, you know, sometimes, you know, we don't all get along and everything, you know, we butt heads, some people don't like each other, but you know, at the end of the day, when, you know, you get that win or, you know, you move into the tournament down the road and everything, you know, it's worth it, it's worth it. And I'm coming into my last year and everything, it's crazy how, you know, four years of my life have, you know, flying by like that. I originally didn't start here at Cal State LA, this is my second year at Cal State LA. I originally, I'm a transfer from the University of Buffalo, New York, to Division One, out there. Um, yeah, the only difference between Division One, Division Two, and Division Three is the money, amount of money they get to bring in and everything. You know, you get X amount of scholarships and whatnot like this. And um, yeah, um, yeah, I relate to the culture. A lot of time, a lot of effort. This is my life. After this, I'm supposed to originally graduate in fall of 2016, but. What I'm gonna look to do is, I'm gonna see how this year portrays and everything, how I do this year. And then um, try to play professionally somewhere, and look to get a contract somewhere. Um, yeah. And um, in conclusion, I feel like Dr. Naismith didn't understand, you know, that this ball right here is really gonna, you know, get people off the streets into better environments, everything, meet new people, connect and whatnot. And, and 